And another thing. The way you are presenting yourselves to the public, it's just not good enough. I think we look quite smart. That's the problem. Take a look at the way the Met Police in London present themselves to the public. They don't look very smart, sir. Correct. And that's the way we want police to look. Those filthy, stinking, scruffy creatures in London are the way modern British police must look. But shouldn't we be approachable? I mean, who wants to speak to a policeman who probably hasn't had a bath this year? Exactly, Constable. The Met Police probably don't even change their socks and underpants more than once a month. Their greasy, stinking, matted hair and ragged uniforms have probably never been washed. Ah, sir, that's disgusting. Constable, the public shy away from those dirty, filthy, diseased creatures in the Metropolitan Police, and that is good. After all, modern police officers are only interested in serving those ragbags who strut about the streets as if they own the place. And can't speak English. Exactly. And remember your two-tier policing, Constable. For God's sake, we've spent enough time and effort ramming that down your throats. Yes, sir. But shouldn't we try to be on good terms with all the public? Not just the you-know-who brigade. Who the hell do you think you are, Dixon of Bleeding Dot Green? There is much less for us to do if the public ignore us as we stumble about like unwashed, half-witted zombies. But if they won't approach us and report to us, that would mean more crime, sir. Since when have we given a flying fuck about that? <laughs> <laughs> Just one more thing to look out for if you should find yourselves outside the police station. I've never been outside, sir. Do they speak English out there? Not as a rule, no. The infamous conman and escape artist Snodgrass J. Snodgrass is still at large. I don't want that prick back in here. Why not, sir? Never mind why not. Is it because you're worried he might make an even bigger pissing idiot out of you if he escapes a second time, sir? <gasps> Constable. Do you happen to be the nitwit who asked if we could change the name of the Fuquit Constabulary to the Keystone Cops? Yes, sir. Hey, Hoop, that during your time here, Constable, you learn to not ask those kind of questions. Better still, maybe it would be a good idea if you fell out of a police car, you twat. Sorry, sir. Am I a half-witted zombie, sir? So, if anybody sees the aforementioned Snodgrass J. Snodgrass, phone up the Avonbury Constabulary and tell him where he is. So not here at the Fuquit Constabulary, sir? No. And remember, everyone, he may still be dressed in a police officer's uniform. At last, the clothing department. I can get out of this disgusting uniform. Now, which togs? These look okay. Now to clear the shop so I can pinch the clothes and get away in the confusion. Ah, quickly, there's been an incident on the ground floor. They need you down there immediately. Right, officer. I'll have to lock this booth. I'll deal with that. I'm in charge of evacuating this whole floor. Get down there quickly. Go on, go on. And don't use the lift. It's been hijacked by a crazy leper. But it's ten floors to the ground floor. Just walk down or I'll arrest you for obstructing the police. Emergency! Emergency! This is the police! This store must be evacuated! Go immediately to the nearest exit! Do not call the police! I repeat, do not call the police! As you must all be aware, the two-tier Metropolitan Police Force is under the control of an unexploded half-wit. Evacuate this store immediately! Evacuate! Evacuate! I suppose 
these will have to do? So, you actually saw the bogus policeman go into the store? Yes! I remember thinking he looked too clean to be a real police officer. He was nothing like the dirty, filthy, greasy, stinking, insect-infested bastards in the Metropolitan Police. That's Snodgrass. He's wanted. Police! Police! Bugger! So, Snodgrass, J. Snodgrass, he's back under lock and key, Nixon. Yes, Dixon, but not where the superintendent or chief inspector Clueless wanted him. No, Avonbury Nick refused to take him, so they sent him back here. Avonbury superintendent said they could send him anywhere but Avonbury. In fact, anywhere else in the universe. Universe? Ha! Waste of space. <laughs> you never give up, Dixon. <laughs>